Should I make chocolate mooncake or strawberry mooncake? <gasps> chocolate strawberry cake! So, there's this like yinger and yangerons, and they spin in this projected pattern which intersects fourth dimensionally. But it isn't a measurable function. It's got a whoosh! Mm -hmm. Hey guys, welcome to a new guy video. Today I'll show you guys how to play Zoe. I build this sequence on Zoe, so Q is maxed out first for the damage and wave clear, E second for the long range CC and damage amplifier, and then W last which allows you to steal summoner spells and item actives while also giving some bonus movement speed. Your ultimate is a short blink that can be used to extend the range of your abilities, so make sure to put points into this whenever possible. Okay guys, so we're gonna start with the Q level 1 here and what we want to do is that we want to try to hit the uh, caster creep, so the minions behind. With one long range Q, that way we can push the wave really fast. Sometimes the minions will place in a way where you cannot hit the third one, uh, that doesn't really matter too much. You mainly want to keep the wave pushing, because otherwise Zoe cannot really do anything. So of course your Q deals more damage based on the distance it travels, up to a cap of course, so that's why most of the time you want to be throwing the Q backwards. Now when you trade early game guys, remember to make use of that passive so whenever you use an ability then the next auto attack will become empowered so it's basically a mini Lich Bane. And your Q can give you 2 stacks of your passive so in the early game you want to look to get 2 procs off on the enemy champion for maximum damage. And when you have your E up that's when you can start looking to snipe the opponent. Hit them with a bubble like this, and then you hit them with a Q. That's a pretty nice pull combo here. That is basically so his main combo, is that you try to uh, snipe people with E. Remember that the range of your E will get extended if you use it uh, through walls. I am using smart cast so it doesn't really show the range because I already know the range but if you're new to Zoe then I can recommend uh, showing a indicator so it shows exactly how far it will travel. Now you have your W so of course you can see this uh, little circle thing about the minion so when you kill that minion then you'll get a summoner spell. You'll also get uh, summoner spells or item actors from uh, champions when they use it. Of course you want to make sure that you are the one last hitting that minion right there because if you if somebody else last hit it then you will not get the uh, summoner spell or item exit from the minion. Right, got the rocket build so of course it's a bit more fun to play so in the new season because there are completely new items you can take so now we can look for an all in. There we go, and she's dead. Flash is also down. Of course, some uh, item actives or summoner spells allow you to play really aggressive. There's no cooldown on this W, so you can just keep picking up summoner spells. Now, if you already have a summoner spell and you want to switch to another one, you simply have to walk on top of the new one and then you just press on it. Just want to push this wave here and then we can look for a recall. We do not want to stay for too long, uh, otherwise that means we'll just get ganked, so push the way out and then recall. Of course the ideal first item purchase is the last chapter because it gives some uh, mana regen for the laning phase, but we just have to do with the amp term for now. We also have a control ward so it makes us a bit safer in the laning phase because uh, this champion is really really immobile without a W, the vision is really really important.
Because the reason you want to keep pushing as Zoe Because she cannot do anything if the wave is pushing towards her Because she needs some range Get Ari here Nice Right, got another Dark Harvest proc, but so you needs to keep the way pushing because otherwise you cannot really do anything. Her abilities can be body blocked by the minions, so if the wave is pushing towards you, then you cannot really do anything to your opponent because they can just hide behind the minions. Got a nice snipe off here guys, so when you play in a bit more higher elo people will start dodging your abilities, so what I did here is that I throw it behind her so I expect her to dodge it and that way we make sure that it hit. That is something really important on Zoe. Also keep in mind that her E is a bit slow, uh, the animation, so you have to aim it a bit further behind than you would normally do on other champions. Otherwise, even if you predict that dodge, then it won't hit. And now we have the last chapter, this is really good. Get another control over here. So we have the Ever Frost active here, so if it hits in the center, then it's going to root people. So that's nice to have some extra CC now on the uh, W. Now bot lane is struggling quite a bit, but that is understandable. Draven, Pantheon, one of the most aggressive lanes in the game, so we also want to help them out. We just have to fix our own lane first, so of course we want to show that wave in before we start roaming. Get this minion here. Okay, that's a barrier. W is about to expire, so we can just use it. Nice, there we go. We also get some tiny bit of movement speed. Oh, rip. Fresh. I think Ringa is also dead, he can jump to that one. Okay, looks like he is fine now. Thing is, Pantheon can block my uh, damage. Oh, uh, so much air I'm going on. Can we get Draven as well? Nice. I got the double kill though. I do have my double flash. Just take Knight on her. There we go. That should be free. Yo, I mean, have the ultimate as well. Remember that it also gives you a proc of your passive, so for maximum DPS, you want to use that. That is especially important when you want to be pushing uh, objectives, for example, then you want to make sure that you use every single proc of your passive. Got a heal. So, this W is basically the main reason you have Nimbus Cloak on Zoe. Um, Nimbus Cloak basically makes it so whenever you use a summoner spell then you get some bonus movement speed and since Zoe's W doesn't have a cooldown in a single fight you can pick up so many summoner spells so you basically become super mobile and that is something Zoe otherwise would lack you can just use this back to lane here it is about to expire anyway oh we have three balloons with summoner spells that's insane, that's actually really rare that actually happens. So many summoner spells that I don't even know what to take. Everfrost is really good. Blue Smite is also really good because it slows the opponent so it's easier for you to hit the bubble. Okay, they got the shutdown, that's pretty good. I don't think... Uh, 
Riven is a very good champion into Maokai. And it is tank meta anyway, so he has an advantage. Go bot here, place a ward so Shiwana does not sneak the drake. Now you can try to snipe Pantheon. Long range E, there we go. Oh, don't hit it. Oh, yikes. This is basically the most annoying thing when playing Zoe, is that some people will not wait for your uh, damage to come off. They will just accidentally proc your bubble. And then if they do that, then the opponent can move. So when you snipe someone, uh, the best case would be that they actually wait for you. If they did that, then Lucian didn't have to die, but he used the, that ultimate, so they could trade back. Otherwise, they would have been really free. Okay, that dark is nice, there we go. Ringa is coming, so it's fine. Oh, I could have killed her with Ignite right there. But just have one more second. That's fine though. Okay, let's get the Herald. So we're gonna get the plates now. Push the... Oh, she won, huh? Got the bubble off. Now we can trade back. I also had to Ignite her. I hope she's dead. She should be. Nice. Okay, great. So now there's no one to contest the Herald. I don't really have any mana left, but when pushing towers, make use of that passive. So use one Q, auto attack, then the second part of the Q, and then auto attack because it gives you two stacks. Basically, use every single ability when you want to push. Oh, Ari is also down. Nice. Get the last plate here. There we go. We got everything we wanted, so now we can go ahead and recall and get the Ludens Tempest and Sock Shoes. So of course this game I really need to be sitting bot lane because they're getting pretty hard stomped. We don't want Draven to carry this game here. Here I'm just gonna hit straight bot. Oh no my looks like Chris is dead. Yeah, I don't think he's making it out here. Could have waited for me though. I can see if we can make a pick here. Oh no mind they're basing, okay. Probably because they saw I was missing a map, so I guess if we can hit Ari. Oh, never mind. But this is basically why you always keep moving around when you take down wards and stuff like this, because if she stood still, then she would have been a free kill right now. Hit Ari here with a bubble, let's see if we can. Ward down first. If we can snipe with a bubble, then she's dead. Alright, now you guys. Oh no, mind. Okay, there's a Shiwana coming in. I'm fine though. You can use that W just for the bonus movement speed, guys. I'm gonna get Shiwana. Nice. Ari survives though, it's not the best, but. I can ult over an Igniter. I have my W here. There we go. Getting some free Dark Harvest decks, so the reason I really like this Keystone on Zoe is because it is consistent and it works so well with her all-in burst. Like, Electrocute is also really good for the early game, but it falls off early. Or it falls off after the mid game. And you have to be really good at abusing the cooldown on Electrocute. Alright, flash down. I'm gonna give this skill over to Lucian. Can you get her? I'm gonna what? Nice, great. I'm getting the kill over because they're so far behind, so he could probably use any help he needs. I already have uh, 7 kills right now, I have a lot of gold as well, so I'm going to snowball either way, even if I don't get that kill, so it's better to give it over to the teammate. That way, we can also hope that he doesn't rage quit. Alright, guys, see this one shot right here? One Q is enough. Boom. This is what Zoe can do when she's ahead. That's also why she's really annoying to play against. So if you play against Zoe, you want to take um cleanse on most champions. So you can uh, get rid of that bubble. Oh, see if we can help him. I think he might die here though. Oh, okay, he has shield. Let's see how he's making it out. Gonna bubble Pantheon. Okay, Draven had just enough mana for W.
Now guys, there are some comps you never want to pick Sori into. So first of all, she struggles against the Ari actually. That's a bad matchup for her. Malsa is also a really bad matchup and so is Kassadin. Ari is a bad matchup because whenever you use your ultimate on Zoe, you'll always return to the same spot so she can basically all in you if you misuse your ultimate at any point in the game. She's also really mobile with the ultimate so very hard to hit for skill shots. So basically you want to avoid picking uh, Zoe into these champs and you also want to avoid picking Zoe into tanks. Tanks is something she absolutely cannot deal with even though the true damage part on her E does not matter because she doesn't have consistent damage and she also needs time to uh, set up her abilities. Pretty good in the early mid game, struggles quite a bit in the later stages and in the team fights because uh, she needs time to set up her abilities and that is something she doesn't get in team fights because it is so chaotic. And people can also body block her damage, so it's very, very hard to play in team fights. I don't care. I'm just gonna sit bot because I think my bot lane will die otherwise. Oh, he blocked it. Okay. I'm gonna ignite this guy. He needs to. He needs to die. Okay, he doesn't. I'm gonna walk around here. I'm gonna. Sit bot lane, I don't care if I'm losing CS mid, cause I want to really set that bot lane behind. Cause if they snowball then they can easily carry the game, right? So make sure that my teammates get the bottom lane, bottom tower here. And okay, now they're really scared so they're just backing off all the way here. I did not take out this ward here earlier guys, because otherwise they can see me. So now because I set bot lane, then we secure that tower there, so now my ADC and support is free to roam. I'm gonna wait bot lane a bit more. Okay, it looks like they recalled. Never mind. Annoying it hits pen. Oh no. His ultimate. Okay. We can get this guy's wall here. Nice. Another Dark Harvest stack, so we have 13 stacks right now, that's actually a lot. Normally you don't get this many in the early game, but uh... It scales really well with Zoe, so you basically just keep one-shotting uh, in the late game, because you have so much burst damage from the Dark Harvest as well. So the reason you have this Horizon item, guys, is because... Um, it amplifies your long-range damage, so it makes you deal 10% uh, more damage and it also works on the first ability that procs it so basically whenever you snipe someone with your E then this damage amplifier will be active and not only that of course it also gives a lot of AP so this is pretty much the core item on Zoe now Betty. I still need to watch out this champion is very squishy so if you ever Misplay by walking too close to people, then you're just dead. That's almost one shot, Ari. Wait, is this water? How did you know? Yeah, it looks like this is water. This has to be water, right? Yeah, it is. I was wondering how he was just touching everything. Oh, I just spelled it. Get him though. Oh, Rengar needs to watch out because he can knee him while he's dashing and then take the kill, so. Better to just back off. There's some uh, Maokai coming in. Hello. Okay, I'm gonna take a summoner spell and then I can flash out hopefully. Go. This is also one of the things that makes Zoe really annoying to play against. Because you cannot use your summoner spell to flash away because she will just steal it and then follow you. Or steal it and escape as well. I don't have my E up just yet. One second, there we go. Fortunate, he would probably have been dead if I hit that E right there. Alright, so we have a lot of gold, so I want the large rod. That's why I did not shop early on, guys, because I didn't have enough gold for it. Then we can just keep itemizing towards uh, raw AP items.
Now, if you're at the point where people start building MR, then you can also get the word stuff or the component for it because the component also gives you some magic pin right now, so that's really nice to have. Also, if you're playing against tank teams, then you can go for the Lion Reese, so the uh, other mythic item that Maokai has for some reason, so he's going AP apparently, and that's really good for us. Because if he went tank, then this game would be a lot harder for us. Do you want a spot lane? Farming crux, so this herald is free. It was actually about to expire really soon. Now what we need to do, Zoe in the mid game where team fights start happening. We just want to group. Oh, that's a really shitty uh you right there. Oh no fish ticked. He's dead, right? Yeah, he's done so. Now I'm not going in here because he can block it with that thing. That's really not balanced. He can block all damage. I think Ruin wants to flank so I can give him some vision. I really don't think we should go for this because we are so split. Yeah, that's not good. I need to ignite this guy and get away. Oh no 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 he's also at yeah I think I'm dead here. Can at least damage it before I die? Okay, Lucian got it. But this is not good. They should peel me because I have such a huge bounty. I'm also the strongest player on the team, so Oh yikes, okay. Flashes down at least on Pantheon. He should just let this tower go here guys, otherwise they can just dive him as well. I have two drakes right now, so of course we can play for the soul as well. But this game would be a lot easier if we just group mid and then... What you have to do is that you just try to snipe people with a Q or E. You don't always have to go for those E snipes, if you can hit your Q guys then it's going to deal a lot of damage. Even Shiwana lost a lot of damage and she also has MR, so if you hit a squishy then it's going to be a one shot. Alright, push the wave, clear out the vision here, so we can secure vision around the Baron, that way they cannot sneak it. Oh, somebody was doing the, uh, Makai was doing the uh, scuttle, so that's great we got that as well. Just the behind, all forward and try to hit people with a snipe. If you can do that on Zoe, then that is how you are going to win the game. That's a weird Rift Herald placement. Just stay mid though. Oh yikes. That's also a bit sad when you play Zoe and people take the minions with a bubble about them, because then you will not get the summon spell. Okay, we got a kill. That's great. So that is how you carry on Zoe. Try to snipe people. Oh. Yeah, they're not playing around our strengths right now. So our strength is that we have Zoe that can constantly poke them on a short cooldown, but they need to wait. They don't have to go all in. That is the mistake. Just need to stay back and let me poke. Bad Draven, I cannot go in here. As you can see, people body blocking and that is how Zoe becomes useless in teamfights. That's what makes it really hard to play this champion. Oh, it's a bit unlucky right there. The small monsters just uh, body blocked. They're probably getting the Drake though. I can go for Maokai here if I can get the barrier. Then I can use that bonus moon speed to catch up. There we go. Nice. We got something at least, so it's not too bad right now. I have enough gold for the Rabidons as well. So many summoners pick up. Focus the Draven, guys. Ooh, just probably hit. I'm gonna heal him. Hopefully he survives. No, he doesn't. Okay.
Okay, they're getting Panthea nothing right, so I can go for Shivana. Get the snipe with E here. Nice, there we go. Now we need to do Baron. We really, really need to do Baron right now, because if we don't, then they can easily turn the game. So we need to close out the game right now, and we do that by doing the Baron, so... People are dead from that team, so now is the best time to do it. Fortunately, they didn't wreck in time and went towards the Baron, so we lost some time right here, but hopefully we can still do it. Because if they get the Baron, then they are 100% going to win, guys. Because then there is nothing we can do as a team, because they have a tank. And this is tank meta, so they can just run us down, basically, because we are... 5 squishy members on one team. Nice, we got the Baron, there we go, so now we can actually win this game right now. So we need to get the Rabidons, and then we need some Magic Pen, so we can get the component here that also gives a bit of Magic Pen. Now we just need to push mid as a team. Or we can push as 4, and then we have Riven split pushing. Zoe never wants to split push, she always needs to be grouped with that team. She is immobile, and if you ever get caught out, then you're just dead. Snipe right there. It's a bit unfortunate that his uh, anti-damage thing outlast our uh, E. But the long range snipe basically secured us a kill right there, so that's great. So now we can just keep pushing, clear out this ward she just placed, there we go. Oh nice, got the summoner, so that's great. So I have a barrier here, so some extra shield. No, don't dive. Okay, Ruin's dead, right? Right. Raven's really low HP, so he's out of the fight right now. We got Shivana. Nice. Oh, Draven also died. I don't know how. Rengar killed him. Nice. Then we can maybe go for the end right here. Okay, he did not try to dodge steady. Some people also just walk straight. They do that in high elo because they expect you to throw it behind them. It's really about reading the opponent, how good you are at reading their movements, and then you can try to uh, aim that E so it hits them. It needs to go for the end here. I also need to watch out because he can one shot me as well. I do have the summoner. Go, keep pushing here. You can almost end the game. Nice, that should be GG. Anyways, this was the SOE guy video, so of course I hope this was helpful. As always, see you guys in the next one.